What is up guys? It is TKO Smokey, your Moto Game Test Writer. It's been a few weeks since I posted a video and I do apologize. I hope everyone has had a great Christmas and New Year. I know with the pandemic it's been super, super weird. Some of us may be out of work now, some people are working from home, some of you don't even have a license and you still live with your parents, which is cool too as long as you're not 50. <laughs> Just a heads up, I've been working on some new merch for all my Moto gamers out there, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And as always, if you'd like to support this channel, please like this video and subscribe. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. But enough about me, let's get into today's topic. As you can tell by the name of this video, MXGP 2020, in my opinion, got to be the worst motocross game of all time it's actually straight up garbage doo-doo but before you get into the comments and start saying smoky why are you dogging this game it's not so bad it's not good for the community blah 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 i just wanted to say i did a poll on my instagram page and most of the people that follow me on my instagram play motocross games and most of them bought MXGP 2020. Actually, 56% of you guys said you wouldn't recommend this game to someone new getting into motocross games. That's more than half of everyone that's played this game, and trust me, a lot of people voted in this poll. Just putting that out there for, for all the haters, all the milestone sims, 56% that is a so I'm not the only one that feels that way I might be the only one making YouTube videos about it but I'm not alone so if you're still one of the lucky few people that hasn't purchased this game do yourself a favor and stay the hell away from it it's garbage it's doo -doo. don't buy it so just some giggles I took some screenshots of some customer views from around the internet just to give you a small sample size of what people's reactions are right now to the game and honestly it is not good. Milestone overhyped this game super big like I mean just the original videos that they posted was just insane they, they always overhyped these games and as usual they under delivered. The Milestone promised this crazy new track editor with all the new hype maps and blah, 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 blah. Long story short, it was supposed to be like this amazing thing for Milestone, but it's garbage. I mean, to put the icing on the cake, the track editor wasn't even in the original release. The whole point of getting this MXGP 2020 game was this amazing track editor because, you know, a lot of people like to build their own custom tracks and this was supposed to be one of the main features. And to actually not put it in the release, like, what are you thinking? Like, it is like straight up lying to people. Like, it was a lie. It is a lie. And I, I feel sorry for the Xbox players. I mean, they had to wait over two weeks, two weeks, to to even get the track editor to find out that it was a shit track editor. Seriously, this game is infested with bugs. I mean, the amount of times this game drops frames is insane. Not to mention, the game doesn't even have private lobbies. Like, hello, something that every game before this has had. Like, what the f milestone? I mean, should I really say more? This game has glitches on glitches, and if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, some people will just, like, ignore it. Like, they're like, it's so fun, blah, blah, blah. It, it's not fun. It's not fun to see the frames dropping and you're glitching off the map. You don't see your bike. The AI's glitching, blah, blah, blah. It's... I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just wondering how can Milestone advertise a feature in the game that doesn't even come with the game? 
But if you want a refund, you have to request one for 15 days or to play the game less than two hours. Do you get it, guys? We were tricked. We were lied to by Milestone again. But this time, it's so obvious that it's just unbelievable how blatant it is. Like, we can't get a refund if we play the game for more than two hours, but you can sell the game at full price with missing features. Milestone should be getting sued. Their asses should be getting sued in court right now. Like, how can they get away with something like this? Just, just wow. Like, all I have to say anymore is just wow.